Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today I want to talk about crawl space ventilation. Where does the makeup air come from? Stay tuned. So if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about crawl space encapsulation, basement waterproofing, and indoor air quality. We hope you'll subscribe, ring that notifications bell, and follow us on Facebook. So if you've seen any of my videos, I, I talk a lot about if you're going to encapsulate the crawl space, install the dehumidifier, the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, says that when you do that, you run the risk of potentially allowing soil gases like radon and methanes and different things like that up into the crawl space because you don't give that air anywhere to go. So we've been preaching over the years about installing what we call an active ventilation system. It's basically a foundation vent fan, okay? The EPA recommends one cubic feet per minute for every 50 square feet of crawl space. So if you've got a 100 CFM fan, technically you could ventilate a 5,000 square foot crawl space. But we get a lot of questions about where does the makeup air come from? So keep in mind that it's going to be very difficult for you to completely air seal the entire crawl space. It's just almost impossible because you would basically be creating a vacuum to where air can't get in or go out. All right. If you were able to do that. So some of the places that the makeup air comes from is where the foundation wall meets the sill plate. Normally there's a crack right there and the makeup air can come through that. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, I don't want to bring in hot humid air from the outside. Well, that's what the dehumidifier is for. You're going to bring in hot humid air as the humidity lowers. Remember the outside air that's high, let's say you got 80% outside and you have 50% inside. That 80% humidity is pushing in regardless of whether you're ventilating or not. So just by lowering the humidity in the crawl space, it's automatically allowing or forcing that high humid air to come in. It's kind of like the weather pattern. You got the low pressure system and the high, the high chases the low. Same thing with humidity. As you lower the humidity in your basement, your crawl space, your attic, whatever the air is around the house is trying to force its way in, okay? So by allowing the makeup air to come from the outside, is just, again, addressing soil gases. So that's one thing around where the sill plate meets the foundation. The crawl space door is also a great place for air leaks. Even around your vents where you have maybe sealed it and you, you missed a spot, uh, through different places like that, the makeup air is going to come from the outside in. Another way that the makeup air comes in is from above. If you're not air sealed all parts of the subfloor, the air can actually come down it's a little bit more difficult for it to come down because of the stack effect, but it can. If you, if you need to, the makeup air can come down. It can, if your HVAC unit is running through there and you got HVAC ducts, well, the HVAC is probably leaking. So it'll bring air from the register through those leaks down into the crawl space. And for those of you that are concerned about, you know, your conditioned air going down into the crawl space, keep in mind, this is a 100 to 120 CFM computer fan. It's not like the blower in your HVAC, which is 400 CFM plus, okay? So it's not gonna make a huge impact and draw all of your conditioned air down in the crawl space. We just want a trickle amount of air going out. And besides that, according to the Department of Energy, lowering the humidity should improve the energy efficiency of your home. So yeah, you may get a little bit of conditioned air down there, just like you may get some outside air coming in that the dehumidifier has to address. But of all the thousands of crawl spaces we encapsulated, we have not had anybody come back and say that their bills have gone up because we've encapsulated it the way the Ninja process does with dehumidification and active ventilation. The last thing that I want to talk to, to you about that could be a potential is what's called soil air. Now this is an article, uh, and I'm going to put a link to this down below because it's way more sciencey than I understand or can explain. But the University of Hawaii at Manoa actually talks about there being soil air. Okay, so according to them, most of the air inside the soil is carbon dioxide. And I don't even really talk about carbon dioxide. I mainly focus on methanes and radon because, you know, radon is the number one cause of cancer uh, among non-smokers, number two cause of cancer in the U.S. But what they're saying in this article is that the soil is packed with carbon dioxide. 
And when it rains around your house and then the water rushes into the soil, it forces that carbon dioxide up into your crawl space. So I never even knew that the soil is primarily full of carbon dioxide. Now, granted, this is in Hawaii and they may have different soils than we do here in East Tennessee as far as clay and things go like that. But what they're trying to say is that the air, the soil air can actually force its way up. So that could be another potential place for that makeup air to come, which is carbon dioxide or methane or things like that. So after a heavy rain, you really want to have a, an active ventilation system in there because that air has been displaced by water and it's got nowhere to go but up into your crawl space. Even with a vapor barrier down, it's still going to make its way into your crawl space. Remember, it's a vapor barrier, not an air barrier, okay? So that's why we encourage you to ventilate the crawl space. The makeup air will find a way. If you want to know if you don't have makeup air in your crawl space, Go to the outside of the house where the fan's blowing out, put your hand in front of it. If you don't feel air coming out, you don't have any makeup air going in. And if somebody like that has that happening, then you may need to make an access for the makeup air to go in. Perhaps you, you need to unseal a vent or cut a hole in a vent so that it can have some makeup air coming in, but I doubt you're gonna have that problem. Hope that helps you all. Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.